when you're seeing something in that sort of symbolic way, um, I think the key is that you know you saw people going further in the place where current things sort of exist, but they don't really exist from a spiritual perspective. So okay. they're the old institutions, the buildings that are there, but actually aren't really there from God's perspective. They're what we've created, and people are not going to go into that, but they come out of that into something new. I think that's that's the thing where God is drawing people out of the old things and drawing them into the new so they can go deeper into it. I think, you know, the description of people being able to look at a painting, and I would say that's probably a description, there can be physical paintings that people actually paint with, the, with that whole purpose that people can engage God. I totally believe that artistically, whatever, but also it's representative of everyone's life. Think of your life as a painting and people observe your life and they see the whole perspective of your experience of god and they have their own experience because they're seeing the testimony of your life so there's multiple levels of truth on this and as gatherings of people they should people should be able to see the testimony of who we are as a reflection of god's glory his nature his character and all those things so they're all sort of symbolic uh, in a sense of us individually us corporately being a temple of the holy spirit being a corporate living stones coming together into a holy temple of the lord all of that um, which i think is all about experience and as people engage us they should have a positive experience of the light in which we shine or the frequency that we put off or the atmosphere we create around ourselves the key is creating those atmospheres you know, and we're responsible for our own atmosphere. And when we're together corporately, we're responsible for our corporate atmosphere under an open heaven. So it's important that we frame that out of our relationship with God and testimony, not out of structure or form, which is a, again, a formula or a pattern that dictates how people can engage God because we've now formalized that, well, we're going to, and you can do, I mean, you can, literally, if, if we started have a move of God where people started to look at art and started to have encounters with God in heaven, I guarantee that you'll have churches who start putting paintings up in their meetings and just get people to look at them. Whether God mandated them to do that or not, they will look, that's what they do. Oh, wow, God's doing this. Let's do that. You know, and ultimately, you do get people who are who are creating art you know, we do it in conferences some of the conferences i go to or speak at people are there and they're painting in the atmosphere and they're producing something creative that is coming out of that atmosphere and that's great you know what we don't want then is to formalize it this is church then we're the art church you know or with this church or whether that church and all of a sudden it's um, well we've now labeled ourselves We've denominated ourselves because that's what denominations are. They're divided by name. <laughs> and now we're this church. And I think this is where we just need to be known as the early disciples were known. We're just followers of the way, you know, we're just following Jesus. And in our lives, we've, we've encountered Jesus and we want to encourage you to encounter Jesus as well. But we can choose to do that deliberately in creating an atmosphere <clears throat> overshadowing a place with our spirit you know forming boundaries within our spirit having rivers of living water flowing from our innermost being and corporately opening up heaven and having everlasting doors open they're all things that we can participate in but what we don't want to do is actually dictate what that will look like from a franchise perspective but actually every place will be an expression of the living stones that God has called together in that place. Therefore, it shouldn't be franchise. It should be unique and unique because we're all unique. And all we have to do is be ourselves together to find a unique expression. But we all like the comfort zones of knowing exactly what's going to happen. And even if it's, oh, we have wild times every Sunday, everyone's comfortable with wild times. 
you know, that, that's just the way it is, you know, and then all of a sudden, if someone said, oh, we're just going to sit quietly today, everyone would be like, oh, complaining and moaning. Well, no, we, we, we don't do that. We do it like this. Well, well, what if God says to do it differently today? And we so often resist what God wants to do because we know what he wants to do because we're that's who we are. And we've created our identity through the way in which we do things. Or we're charismatic or we're this or we're the we're baptists we're do we um it's all about the way we do things and ultimately you know everything should be unique and a unique expression so that there is creativity we are that creative picture you know and the father wants to bring us into it and you know if you've got a blockage fear will be a blockage you know because it, it, it always is going to be because in a sense perfect love casts out fear and so wherever we're going to be if love's there there won't be any fear and we just got to trust god to work it out you know i don't need to know everything that is so liberating when you get to this point i don't need to know everything i don't know how god's going to do this this or this if he wants me to be involved in some way i'm sure he'll show me <laughs> and then i'll just do whatever he says but i trust him you know and that means i don't have to control things or I don't have to be prescriptive about things. We can just be and enjoy being and God will do that, what he needs to do. And he's quite capable of directing us if he wants us to do something. But when he does, then let's not turn it into another formula. And that's the problem that we have. There are so many formulas created out of something that God asked something, someone to do. But now that's all they do because that's what God said to them then and they've never moved from it. Hence, we have all these denominations based on things that God did hundreds of years ago rather than what he's doing today. And as soon as you try and change those things, they resist the change because God told us to do it this way. And he may have done for a season, but I'm sure he doesn't want them to be doing the same thing 300 years later. 